Okay, dolls and gents, I have a mini MAC haul for you guys. It's been so long, like in my head, it's been like forever, since I ordered anything from MacCosmetics.com. Sometimes when I go in the mall, I pick up something here and there, but just to overall just buy a lot at one time to MAC at MAC. It's been a minute. But these new collections that MAC has come out with have me intrigued. So I was like, it's about time that I did a MAC haul. The MAC collections that have come out are the Chris Chang collection, Brooke Candy, um, Halsey or Hazley, Halsey, Halsey. Halsey. And then I got one thing that I did not pick up from Future Mac that I've been kind of debating on and then I'll talk about that in a second. So, oh my gosh, how beautiful does my box look? Like, when I opened the box, I was instantaneously, like instantaneously or instantly? Oh, I'm being extra. Instantly excited because the Chris Chain collection is absolutely beautiful. So at first, I was not going to buy anything from this collection, but the more and more I was looking at it, I was like, girl, you need it. No, 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 I take that back. Sorry about the collection. I was like, I need everything from the collection. I want everything. And it came out with lipsticks, eyeshadows, and then cream color bases. Now, originally when I saw it on Instagram, I thought that the cream color bases were blushes. So I was like, done, 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 done. But then I found out they were cream color bases, and most of the time, whenever I buy cream color bases for MAC, they ended up they end up spoiling. So I was like, no, Kelsey, you don't need to buy any more because you don't use the one that you have. Like, I have a ton of them that I just don't use. So this is what I ended up selecting. So to start off, let me show you the one thing that I got that is not a part of any collection. It's actually an eyeshadow. This one is called Moon's Reflection Eyeshadow and I got it in the individual pots even though I said I'm not going to make any more palettes. Just because you guys know if you get them individually, MAC has reduced the prices of these to $6. So it's like basically free. It's like okay, you can just get a little bit of eyeshadow. It's like a party favor at this point because they're so inexpensive. So um, the reason why I picked it up up on this trip is because I know that this color is getting discontinued it's been on my to buy list for a few years but the thing about me is is that I'll have a list of things that I want to buy but I won't actually buy them because I know that I won't use them so I bought this I know I probably won't get that much use out of it but I know it's getting discontinued so I would kick myself if I didn't just spend the little six dollars to get the eyeshadow so this color is like a little periwinkle bluish color nothing spectacular not a color you would write home about but I am happy to have it in my collection I am eventually going to go ahead and round off my MAC eyeshadow collection and just get all of them at this point because they're so cheap it's just like you can just have them all they're like pokemon cards you just gotta catch them all at this point Mel has in her video i think it's two videos ago at this point now she has all of the mac eyeshadows that are getting discontinued um in her bio so maybe i can just go copy and paste hers in my bio you think she's gonna get me <laughs> But I'll go copy and paste that from her video into my video because she knows all the inside juice because she still works at MAC. Next, this collection has been out for a minute and I originally wanted to get that highlighter but it just kept sitting in my cart and every time I go in the store I swatch it and then I'm like mmm. So I didn't get the highlighter from Future MAC but I did want to get this lip gloss which is called Interspatial. It is a silver base gloss but it has iridescent sparkles in it and I was like do I need you and it took me so long to buy it because my thing is is that if I don't 100% want it sometimes I'll still go ahead and buy it if I don't 100% want it I'll wait around and see if it sells out and then if it doesn't sell out then I feel like it's meant for me to have it and then I'll go ahead and put it in my bag so this is interspatial I tried it on the other day and while it is pretty on my lips it looks clear like it does not give you this gray silver iridescent beautiful tease it's just like a super okay gloss I don't know if you guys are familiar with MAC Dazzle glasses, which I have heard they are being discontinued. They are just like pure glitter in the tube, but then when you apply them on your lips, they're pure glitter on your lips. They give you this really pretty three-dimensional glitter effect, and this one is just not doing that for me. And like you can see on my hand, it just is like a clear, it's like a clear gloss with very fine micro specks of glitter in it, and I'm not wowed. And then... The applicator is so hard to get the product out. 
I think this is good for people that don't really like gloss that just want like a thinner gloss to put on top because I'm not wowed by this and then this is expensive in my opinion this one is more expensive than max dazzle glasses also max regular lip glasses this one is like $25 and I'm like I don't know if I like you like that. She's just okay. I feel like she could have stayed in Max Warehouse because I'm not very impressed. Moving on, uh, Mac did a collaboration with a few artists and the first one that they collaborated with is a young girl named, okay, I don't know how to say her name at all, Haisley Halsey. You know what? Y'all always tell me down in the comment section how to say people's names and I don't know how to say her name. But basically it is a collaboration with her. She created her own lipstick shade. The packaging is special um, but the actual lipstick is just the regular MAC Black Bullet. But on the inside it's called the, the lipstick is actually called Halsey or Hale, Hale. Okay so my name is Kelsey so I'm going to go with Hazley. Hazy. Halsey. Halsey! Okay, so it is like this slate gray color. And I don't actually know why I wanted this one as bad as I did. Just because of the simple fact. Every time I buy these, the following colors, I never wear them. I never wear green lipsticks. I never wear blue lipsticks. And I never wear gray lipsticks. But for whatever reason, whenever they come out, they always find their way to my house. I don't know. It is a sick obsession. I just don't wear the colors, but for whatever reason, I combine them. But here's a swatch of the color on my skin tone. I mean, it's not a summer color at all, to be honest. It's giving me all type of fall teas. I mean, it's like a cement gray with a hint of blue in there. So, she's cute or whatever, but am I going to use her like that? Probably not. Okay, so now next, I got some stuff from the Brooke Candy collection. Brooke Candy came out with the collection a time before, so this is actually the part two to her collection. Um, I'm not quite sure who Brooke Candy is, but from what I'm gathering, she is some sort of either singer or entertainer, so I don't know anything about her personal ongoings in her life. I just know that she collaborated with Mag. Her packaging is pretty, so Kelsey grabbed it. So this right here, it is a silver metallic with a splat of black paint with Mac and Brooke Candy. So I got one lipstick. I got the color doo and Brooke Candy stuff actually is is silver and black this is what I like to see like some originality go into the actual packaging because if you have original originality on the box um I store these boxes in my closet but I look at this all the time so I like the actual design on the packaging so I wanted this color really bad just because it reminded me of an old MAC color. Mine, I don't even know if I ever bought it. Like, I don't know, either A, I used to have it, or B, I wanted it really, really bad, but it's super old. It came out with this MAC collection. I think it was called Petals and Peacocks or something like that, and or that might be the lipstick color, but it was like this really pretty hot pink fuchsia color. It's like a blue base blue based hot pink fuchsia color so when I saw this I was like oh it's so pretty I have other pinks but I just don't have a color like this in my collection and I don't buy pinks that often so I know I don't have a color like this in my collection the closest thing that I have is probably freaking uh girl about town and I hate that color on me so I definitely wanted this one because I love the tone of this I love that it's so blue I love that it's so pink that it's almost purple so I knew I had to have it plus the packaging was pretty um this collection it looks pretty small to me it came out with like um the lipsticks it came out with lip liner and it came out with it came out with some um vamplify lip colors I don't know if anything else is in this collection besides lip products but um yeah so then I got her lip liner in Night Crawler, uh, needed it. It looks like a dark vampy purple color and baby girl, oh, she's cute. So here's Night Crawler. I do not have a color like this. So here is the Brooke Candy one, right? So let me swatch next to that. These are all MAC lip liners that I'm comparing it to. So here is Cyber World. She looks nothing like her. Here is Vino. She doesn't look like her either, honestly. 
So here we have Cyber World, Cyber World Vino. Wait till I get to the end. I got you. I'm going to zoom in. I got you. Night Moth. And then lastly, Currents. This lip liner has been lacking in my collection for quite some time. As you can see, all the other lip liners are not true purples. If y'all watch my channel, you know I'm a purple freak. I need everything purple. Every purple lip color that has ever been made, I always buy it. Loved it. Had to have it. Snatched Lastly, it. Lastly, I don't know if you guys saw my Vamplify video from last summer, but when those Vamplify glosses came out, I lost my mind. I wanted to have every single last one of them. I ordered a ton of them. I think they came out with maybe like 15 shades. I probably got 10 of them. So, um, when Brooke Candy has brought them back out and she released some colors, I actually was debating on should I get... So, this was the, this was the toss up. Either I get the mineralized gloss or either I get the other Vamplify color but honestly like I said earlier when I was talking about the Hazley lipstick I don't wear blue lipstick she came out with the blue Vamplify gloss I have the blue Vamplify gloss from the original uh, release of the Vamplify glosses and I've never even worn it so I was like if I buy that blue Vamplify gloss and it looks like the other Vamplify gloss gloss I'm gonna be pissed and then also I haven't worn the other one so even if it is different I, have, I don't wear them so I was like let me just get the nudish one which I know I'm aware I'll just throw this in the bag so this one is called Pamela don't know what Pamela represents hopefully Pamela does not represent a psycho killer stalker so yeah this has been deemed a Vamplify version of world lip uh, lipstick lip liner um I was like um yes please so Pamela Zahadi very pretty rose color neutral lip gloss love this vamplify collection love the vamplifies mac can make all the vamplify colors in the world and i always am going to want the vamplifies because vamplifies have a special place so let's see how i feel about the chris chang stuff so i mean girl look at this packaging though look how sick this packaging is this is probably my favorite packaging that mac has done since the freaking What's that collection that everybody loves with the rat, with the rain on the packaging? Mac Loring Aquatics. That's my favorite Mac packaging of all time. But this right here is getting a second runner up. I absolutely am in love with this. And I love that they have different color representations on here. And it's just so eclectic and so different. And I'm so drawn to the overall packaging that I almost, and almost, I mean almost, I almost don't care about what's on the inside. But I do, but I almost don't, just a little bit. Okay. But um, let me start off with the eyeshadows. So I have on one of the eyeshadows right now. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't remember the name of which one it is. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. So here's the outside packaging. Y'all, they even went into great detail on the inside packaging. And then, and then... I don't even have anything like this with a regular eyeshadow. So this is like the first time I've ever seen MAC like decorate a regular eyeshadow pot. Like, where, when has MAC ever done this? Like if MAC decorates an eyeshadow pot, it's because like, it's like a different formula, but like regular eyeshadows, MAC never does this. And it feels so nice and like sturdy. I'm like in love with this Anyways, um so this one is called moo okay moo moo bloom all right so it is this really pretty like electric pink color have it on my lid super pigmented it's a matte eyeshadow mac matte eyeshadows either go one way or the other this one is harder to swat like this one applying it is very stiff in the pot but it gives a great color payoff and I'm super pleased with it so when I was applying it today I didn't have any problems with it I didn't have any problems with skipping just a normal matte eyeshadow so I'm liking it so far so then next this one is called pale pippa and by the way I got all of the eyeshadows so this one is a really pretty mint green aqua color oh this one is way softer okay so this one is a matte but it's not as hard in the pan as the pink one for whatever reason it doesn't matter the brand whenever you have a pink or red eyeshadow it's always 
really hard in the pan so I don't know that pigment obviously gives problems whenever you're like having to formulate it to make it matte to the point where it makes it very stiff. So Pippa feels totally different even though they're both the same formula as you can see they're both pigmented but this one just swatches rougher and it's harder to apply look at the design on this one like I don't have an eyeshadow this color. When I saw this, I was like, mine, 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 mine. This one is called Royal Woo. It also is a matte, oh my God, so soft and buttery. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And then lastly, I got Electric Mandarin. We already can guess what kind of color that is. It is like an orangey color. Mine, the top came like... The top on my had a little bit of dust, but these colors are just beautiful. Such a fun summer collection. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let me swatch these for you guys. Next, I got two lipsticks. I think they came out with a total of four or five. I got Plum Princess and Vermilion V, and they had it boxed like this in the package. And I was like, ah, I love it! How cute is this girl's face? Like, who is this girl? She's gorgeous. So let me go ahead and show you Plum Princess again. So much detail goes into the package. It's even like colors on the inside. So here's the actual bullet. Oh my God, how gorgeous. This packaging literally makes me happy. I pulled two colors to compare. So this one is the NARS one that I felt like it would just be super close to. Okay, so Dominique looks a little bit more red in the actual container. And then, what's this one called? Plum Princess looks like it's more gray toned. So they don't look like the same color at all. Yay! I was like, dang, I got two of the same colors. Like, at this point in my collection, I'm tired of buying colors that look exactly the same. Honestly. I mean, they look like, they look similar. They look similar. So, to the average person, one or the other will be fine. But for me, that looks like that's just night and day. Two different colors. But then I grabbed one more. This one is, obviously... I'm thinking, like, does this look like that? It just not. This one is called Lavender Jade, one of my favorite lipsticks MAC has ever come out with of all time. And obviously, like, that's, like, not even, not even close. So, we're good. I didn't buy a dupe. Yes. Because I was going to be upset if I bought a dupe because, girl, she don't have time for dupes. At this stage in my life, I do not have time for dupes. So then lastly, I got this one, and this one is called Vermilion V, which is, oh, this is an orange red. Y'all, if I had known this was not just an orange lipstick, and this was an orange red, do you know how fast I would have left this there? Do you? All right, so let me go ahead and swatch it. Oh, I don't want this. I got some from my collection to compare them to. I gave, honestly, I gave a lot of my orange reds away because I never wear them. Oh my God, this looks like the same color. So this is Scarlet Ebis. This is Vermilion V. This one is Scarlet Ebis from the Maryland collection. Mine still looks brand new. Never wear it. And then I have, um, this one is called Sela V. I've had this one for years as well. Although I think this one is a little bit more orange, but still... Same thing. Ugh. I'm so mad that I even bought this. And then this one is one that you always can get. This one is called Lady Danger. Um, had this one for years. Almost never wear it. Oh my god. It looks like all the same variation of the same color. This one is more red, but I mean this and this looks super close. So if you have Scarlet Abyss, like there's no point in buying this one. Dang. The thing was, was that when I was looking at swatches online, I only saw um, fair complected people with swatches. I haven't seen any brown babies. So, um, upon buying it, I thought it was more red. I guess because I'm looking at someone with like almost porcelain skin swatches. So, it's hard to say, alright, that's going to look like that on me because it's just not. So, it's, it's more or like an orange red lipstick. So, I guess I have another one for the books. But, um, 
other than that i'm pretty satisfied with my purchase i like the collection i like the overall packaging like and the actual products are really high quality i like it all they're not duds it's just Colors. I don't like so much of one of the things that I bought but we're not gonna talk about that anymore so <laughs> let me know if you guys are getting anything from these collections that Mac has like Mac has been like you know trying to come back up trying to get the their mojo going back again because you know Mac has been going through a few things these past few uh this past like maybe a year or so they've been going through a few things like trying to keep up with the competition so i see them like trying to make effort and come around to modern technology and repost people on their instagram and things like that like small things that probably nobody else just really takes into account but i, I see them so uh yeah let me know oh also offering coupons so make sure that if you buy any of this stuff online and you're not a pro member or you don't work for mac or sa lauder that you take advantage of max and mac is having Having like buku sales coupons and things that they never used to do in the past like if they did this back when I was first starting my collection it would have been so much easier to obtain a lot of the products but I, I earned mine the old-fashioned way buying a $115 lipstick $115 eyeshadow I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know how, if Mac has been back on your radar if you see any things that you want to order from Mac and I'll talk to you guys in my next video smooches Bye.